Nicola Badalana here from PixieHill.com with a new project created for my friends at Gypsy Soul Laser Cuts. This month I'm making a miniature cauldron shop using their 7 inch corner room box. First, a quick wipe to remove any residue from the laser cutting process. I'm tracing the window frame element I'll be using onto the side wall. When I cut, I'll slice inside that line so that the window frame will have an area to attach to. Now to glue the room box elements together. I'm cutting the rounded ends off of thin wooden stir sticks, then snipping them into lengths of various sizes. Discard any sticks that are bent or bowed. A bit of glue and I start installing my wooden floor, staggering the ends where they join and the lengths that are used. Once dry, trim the excess, then sand. I'm applying tape to the corner of my box where the sides join. This helps to smooth out that area where the slot and tabs join. To give my building a plaster appearance, I'm using a layer of drywall compound. I'm not worried about applying a thick layer, it's the texture I'm after. While that dries, I'm chopping up a cereal box. I'll be cutting lengths of various widths to use as trim. Mine range from 1 8 to 1 and a half inches and they'll be layered to create interest. Time for some wallpaper. I'm using scrapbook paper from Graphic 45 with this great little spider pattern on it. I'm adding a drop of black to green paint to tone down its vibrancy. I'm testing it on a scrap of the wallpaper that I've used to see if it coordinates. Then I'm painting the strips that I'll be using as trim for the interior of the shop. I'm gluing the window frame elements together before painting. This saves time and provides support to the delicately cut areas of the top frame. I'll be using window frames for both the inside and outside of this piece. I've cut away the wallpaper that was covering the window opening and sanded the edges. The 
the wood floor is stained with light washes of acrylic paint. You could absolutely use wood stain here, but I'm just using what's on hand. I'm adding some of those cardboard trim elements to the outside of my building. Then, slathering black acrylic paint over the entire surface. Once dried, I lightly sand the surface to give an old weathered look. For windows that are more windowy, a bit of transparency is glued to the back. The layered baseboards and trim are glued into place. Shop signs, made from paper and thick card, are added. Simple shelves are attached to the wall. A wonky stack of cauldrons is glued together. Then comes the fiddling and placing and moving and moving again of all the bits to fill your shop. For the full supply list for this project, with links to little cauldrons and a free printable for making your own boxes of cauldron cleaner and wax and polish, and shop signs too, pop over to the blog link in the description. If you're inspired, be sure to tag the heck out of me when you're showing off your creation. I love to see the things that you make. And don't forget your pewter cauldron size 2.